Hey everyone, welcome to another Mendogs video. Today I thought we'd talk about uh, alliances, uh, some tips and tricks for those new players, or sort of those uh, medium players that uh, are just sort of join with your friends and stuff. And we'll go into uh, Discord, using that as a tool to uh, provide structure into the game. And today I'm joined by Perks. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Perks is one of uh, our members, uh, he just actually moved back over. And he, me and him met through Souls Galaxy Heroes, and we were in uh, one of the top end guilds for that um, MC3. But we thought we'd talk about a video because uh, a lot of members coming over from Star Wars, and there are some key differences to alliances that you probably should be aware of. And if you've never played anything like this before, uh, obviously these tips and tricks are going to help you through it. So on the screen, we've got the uh, alliance tab, and this is how you sort of manage your alliance. There's uh, three sort of positions. There's the leader. They have uh, ultimate control of the alliance. Then they can promote people to captain. Uh, in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes terms, that's like officer. Uh, so they are able to start raids, kick people. Um, is there anything else they can do? Oh, war rooms too. They can control war stuff. So um, eventually you might get into uh, assigning people. And we'll, we'll show that on the Discord part where you start assigning people or uh, captains in this case to our different roles like war, raids, and stuff like that. So they, they keep the structure there. Uh, so as you can see in front of us, one of the big things uh, in this game is to be able to get your tickets. Uh, so 600 is the max, and this is so you can run raids. Uh, with the the raids, you want to make sure that you get 600, uh, which is all the free energy you get a day, and then I think it's your 50s as well. I believe so. That's correct. Uh, yes. So by the time that server reset happens, uh, you should be able to have all your 600. 600. Actually, you can get it 100% uh, free to play if you do it correctly. You won't even have to use 50 refreshes. Um, when we talk about refreshes, we talk about the uh, buying the engines for those 50 cores. Um, personally, I go to the hundreds. Uh, what do you go to, uh, Perks? Uh, yep, I go. Uh, I do the 50s, I do the 100s, uh, just depending on how many cores I have, and kind of go from there. Um, you know, I am uh, I do spend a little bit in the game, so um, you know, I'm able to, with those refreshes, I'm able to push my farms a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, uh, you can do all this free to play if you like to. Uh, just make sure that you maximize your arena payout. Yeah, so don't do what I did where I started the game in the first week of the launch, left the game, came back, and then now I'm in the thousands because I can't punch through all the Black Order in front of me. <laughs> Terrible idea. Uh, so you got the rank up here in the icon. So uh, that's your war rank. So we're currently in the gold two uh, stage. And we'll be bringing out a video later talking about war and stuff like really delving into that. However, today we're just going through the alliance and uh, sort of the, the key things that we're noticing in our alliance that we're trying to grip up and we're hoping that this video will help you improve your alliance. Uh, again, if you're in the one of the top end guilds, you're probably already doing all this stuff, but it's for those people who are just starting in the game or even that, you know, we just got to go a bunch of mates together, you start the game and these are hopefully some tips and tricks. Uh, so you click on the alliance members and this is the page where you can see all your members. Uh, in this game, it's a bit different to Star Wars. Star Wars is 50 members. In this one, it's 24 members. Uh, if all your members do your tickets, so the 600s, uh, you can run a raid every single day. So, um, and again, there's another video about what the raids sort of are and sort of where your progress of when you should uh, move up, assign different lanes and stuff like that. We will talk about it a bit when we go into the raid section on Discord. However, uh, that's not today's focus. So you've got a couple of options. You can check uh, the raid tickets of how, how people are doing. This is something that we usually assign to a captain to make sure that everyone's getting their 600 tickets. Um, point to note, you'll see all these low numbers. That's because we've just hit server reset. Um, so they haven't had the time. It's only been uh, about two hours. You can check out the event uh, raid tickets. Collection power is another one that we really focus on. And this is how we assign our strike teams. Um, which are for the raid. So strike teams, there's three strike teams per raid. And so we go through the collection power and you want to 
you want to balance out your strike teams. You don't want to have just everyone hidden in the in the one raid because unlike Star Wars, this is very much an alliance focused um, game, especially when we're talking about the raids. Because to get 100%, you can't just have one big massive, you know, our 4.3 John Solo there. He can't solo the raid for us to get us those best results. It's really a team effort. Um, so as I said, you can go yeah. through the collection. Oh, sorry. No, disagreeing with you, yeah. uh, 100%. It's, um, um, you know, everybody, uh, and we're going to dive a little bit more into it uh, with Discord, but going through and uh, understanding what a, you know, how Discord helps you coordinate and make sure that everybody's doing what they need to do. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with that. Uh, another one that we do is the last active thing too, because we're... We're not a super competitive guild, but we are a super structured guild. So we just want to make sure that we can get the best out of our guys. We're not going to boot someone for not spending money. So both of us, myself and uh, Perks, we're both, I'd probably Dame, uh, you know, Dolphins. Maybe a little, a little whaley at the start, just to start getting our accounts up. But now we've sort of uh, cut back on our spending. Uh, but everything we're talking about today can definitely be free to play. We have a lot of free to play members in our alliance. Um, so it's just getting to know when you're uh, looking around these uh, modes, uh, sorry, these menus to sort of go through. So we talked about uh, donations. Do you want to talk about that or do you want me to? Um, no, you go ahead and uh, talk about donations. Um, this is pretty brief anyways. Well, yeah. you know what? I can talk about it. All right. uh, the biggest thing is, is that everybody that all 24 members of your alliance donate the $10,000, well, mm -hmm. 10,000 gold or whatever it is. Um, 10,000, yeah, gold. So that, so that you can max out uh, that third box that you see there that says 720 XP. Um, Which is this? Once you do do that, uh, you'll get, uh, you'll end up getting 300 start tech points and that 10,000 uh, gold that you originally donated back so um it's a huge return on investment and it's important that everybody takes their part and uh making sure that they're donating and everybody can donate at server reset and depending where you live those times will vary um for me i live in the east coast my server reset is uh 8 p.m yeah, mine's like midnight. So, depends on the time, but uh, once you progress to, I think, level 45, it'll actually become one of your daily objectives to do it. So, it's really important. But you're probably wondering, why is it so important to do these daily uh, donations? Well, the thing that you get is two things. One is you level up your alliance, uh, which is different to guilds in, in Star Wars. So, as you can see here in the top left-hand corner, Han's Heroes, which is our guild, is currently level 32. And that progresses up to level 70, I believe. And we get XP. So, for that 10,000 donation, you get 30 XP towards the guild, uh, the alliance. And you also get 10 star credits. Now, what are star credits, you're probably asking yourself. Well, you click here. And star credits are, are ways of boosting up your, your characters on the the main five subsections which is tech bio mystic skill and mutant now there's a couple of different uh thoughts about what you should sort of level up um for tech bio mystic and i believe i'm now working on mutant i've increased my health and damage to the highest they can be and the reason you want to get your alliance so high is because as you can see here with health and damage i've maxed it out to nine percent and i can't level them up to ten percent until we hit level 34. Uh, but that will affect all tech uh, units. It will increase their health by 9%. It will increase their damage by 9%. Uh, so these are the star credits that you get in the top right hand corner and you can spend them on, uh, so we'll go to mutant. So tech is I'm focused on because of my Dark Dimension 2. And people have different thoughts about what they want to sort of level up. Uh, so easiest way to do this is go into your roster and look up one of these five things and see what you use the most. And so the two two driving factors, probably three I guess, for your roster is your arena team, your raid team, 
and obviously your legendary teams. And I don't mean like the actual legendary characters themselves, I'm talking about teams to get legendaries. Um, we'll be creating another video, it'll be the next one, and we'll be talking about legendaries, you know, how to get them, sort of the minimum gear level, and once you get, and spoiler alert, Star Lord will be the first one you go for. Uh, where do you go from there? So we'll go to Mutant, and I will level up damage. So I've got the 540 tokens there, just click on it, and you can see that my total collection power increased because uh, all my damage and all my mutants went up by 1%. So uh, very, very important stuff to make sure you're doing your donations. You get Stark Tech through like war and stuff like that as well, but uh, extremely important to uh, make sure that you you uh, do your donations. Just not only for the uh, XP, but so you can increase your stats. So another one, and I'll get perks to talk about this because it's uh, true to his heart, but it's milestones. Specifically, not your individual <laughs> one. <laughs> not your individual one, but this uh, World Warrior. Uh, because that's an alliance-based one. So, for example, the two that you see here, spend gold. That is what it says there. It says solo, so it's just me. So if I don't spend any money, well, then it doesn't level up. It's not dependent on anyone. But the uh, fight in battles... Not money, gold. Yeah, gold, sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's your whale card. If you spend more money, you get more back. Uh, so, <laughs> do you want to run through the uh, World Warrior, how that works, um, and sort of what uh, we're sort of aiming for? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, do me a favor. Go ahead and tap on the milestone there. Yep. Tap. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. All right, uh, so that's the goal. That is the goal. Milestone 17. That's the goal every day, all the time. Um, every that's, time. that's not every uh, day. It, this... the, the event lasts for a week, yeah. so it's not... Correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and why I say every day and all the time and every time is because that 171,000 breaks down to, when you divide that out over 24 members in your alliance... 1,050 points per day. Now, when score. you go to scoring, yep, and this is how it all breaks down. Um, so basically, when you look at this, your alliance is literally asking you just to play the game. Um, mm -hmm. Where it says, you know, the only one of these stipulations where it says that you have to win is in blitz so you know win a blitz battle it's only 10 points battle in the raid it's not saying like clear your raid or any or, or clear that node it's just saying use your use that energy mm -hmm. um you get 30 points same thing with arena and uh alliance war and those are the two biggest ones so you got three alliance wars in a week um and you have five uh arena battles every day mm -hmm. um so you know you can really maximize these points and uh you know 1050 points a day um you know however you guys decide to work it out isn't that hard it should um, be noted to out. pv uh sorry uh this is not uh pay dependent um, obviously, you can speed up things with spending money. Uh, so, for example, the arena, I can spend cores to increase the amount of times I can go in an arena, but I don't have to. That thousand and fifty points, you can do free to play. It's, you know, you just you're playing the game, and you will get that thousand points. Uh, some days you'll get more, which is obviously the alliance wars. Um, however, yeah, it's super easy to get free to play, and if you spend money, well, it's just easier, right? Um, but yeah, sorry, continue. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, uh, in an alliance war, uh, you can technically do 10 attacks uh, from the beginning of the alliance war all the way down to the end of the alliance war. Uh, you'll gain enough energy from the beginning to when it ends to do 10 attacks for one day. So literally, that's 850 points, mm -hmm. three days a week. Um, 
It's 450 points for uh, doing your arena every day. You know, so these things can balance each other out. You know, blitzing, you know, can be kind of, you know, monotonous and, what, you know, just not fun. It's It's very, like, you know, play it in the background, put it on auto, walk away from it, come back to it put in your next team, do the same thing mm-hmm. over and over again. Um, you know, you don't have to go all the way out and make sure that you're at 8.3. You know, if you just want to make it easy on yourself, you know, I usually go up to, you know, three or four and, you know, lose, lose a couple battles with some characters that I haven't leveled up yet. And then, Go through another rotation. Um, We've got a blitz video coming out about that, and I'll show you sort of how that is. Um, and also with that, um, the milestones because it's a complete one until you. Uh, so was it when you hit thirty? Is when you get bounced out of the uh, beginners raid? Uh, sorry, blitz. Is that right? Uh, no, after thirty days. After thirty days. So when you start the yeah. game fresh account you start in a what they call a beginner's blitz thing which is all new players for 30 days it's super easy uh it's to get you into the the mindset of blitz and to get you those extra shards when we do the video we'll show you sort of uh where you should be aiming for which is the final milestone and then you can pretty much start from there because it's a a global thing so if you've only got and i've only got like about 800,000 uh cp or TCP, sorry, so total collection power. I'm not going to be able to beat these these krakens at like 12, 12 uh, million uh, TCP. So I just get to my milestone and I, I finish. But that's more than enough points to get, um, you know, my thousand fifty. Uh, if not, you can get more sort of thing. So I average uh, about twelve thousand, I think. And that's just by going to Blitz Auto, walk away, come back, you know, do another battle. But yeah. Easy to do, free to play, which is what we're trying to say. You got anything else before we move over to Discord? Uh, no, that's it. That's all I got on this part. Cool. Uh, so as I said, we're going to be talking uh, about uh, raid coordination. We've got another video coming out about talking about the raids, sort of, and that'll go to, into what teams you should sort of be aiming for as you progress through your um, your, your time in the game. Uh, however, today we're just going to go through the back end of it, of just like how you should organize having Discord and stuff like that. So we've got our Discord channel up uh, on the screen there. Uh, this was originally created because most of us have come from Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and so we created this Discord channel for that originally. Uh, it provides an area where people can just talk, have a chat, you know, not necessarily about the game. A lot of us have now branched off into other games and we still play together, uh, even though most of us aren't playing Star Wars Galaxy Heroes anymore. So you want to have like a welcome area, a new player introductions, and uh, depending on how big your server is, recruitment with the different games. So this is our main our main area uh, for Marvel Strike Force. As I said, we've got a couple of sections for different games as well as Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, but this is how we've sort of broken down Marvel Strike Force. So we've got the rules, uh, pretty basic, pretty much just says play the game, really, uh, and then has the leadership at the bottom, um, where, you know, who, who you need to contact, and as you can see there, we've also got the uh, the strike team members uh, and stuff like that. We do the game update, so there's the Marvel Strike Force Discord server, like their official one, so we'll get updates every single time they, they post an update, we'll go directly into that, so people can see the patch notes. Um, we've got another one for data mine and stuff like that. Not that you should follow necessarily data mine. Um, however, it's just good to sort of show uh, your members that you know you're keen, you get interested, they get interested, that sort of thing. Uh, we've got a general chat. This is usually full uh, filled with some uh, you know uh, bragging. So you know if you get like a, a, a nice uh, roll or a good orb or something, some random videos, Ronald Reynolds <laughs> crashing the original X Men. Uh, and then we go into raids. So there you can see that we've uh, broken down the, the teams, the strike teams that we are talking about before. And then we've assigned a leader to them, usually a captain, uh, to uh, define which lanes he goes into. 
So we've got uh, one, two, and three. I'm the team leader for Strike Team Three, so we're going to that chat. Uh, as you can see there, there's a map. Uh, I believe this is created by um, the official. So there's a. Uh, we'll put a link in the description of this Discord server, and they've got a lot of these info. Uh, what do they call them? Info uh, grams or something like that. Info grams. Yep. Yeah. And so this is color coded to specifically raid six. Uh, they've got everything. They've got uh, each individual raid. They've even got to the point where, and Dark Dimension stuff, where they tell you which targets to attack and stuff like that. So some really good stuff. There'll be a link down below for that. So I assign people to different lanes. So I'm currently, because I'm one of the strongest in my specific strike team. So I've assigned myself to one and our other big account I've uh, sent over to six, which as you can see is a very hard node. And then I subdivide people into different lanes and they will attack only their lane. And it doesn't matter how far they get. It's not um, It's not about how far they get because eventually they will build up to uh, be able to get through it. Uh, so usually the team that probably people will have uh, when starting out is either Guardians or Defenders. So you go through your lane and what... <laughs> I'll let Perks talk about his pet peeve on, uh, you know, lanes. Oh, don't, don't, don't cross lanes. <laughs> don't cross the streams. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't cross the streams. Uh, yeah, that's uh, probably the biggest pet peeve of mine. Um, is especially um, if you know you're almost finished your entire lane. Um, going from the original node all the way to the end and somebody that hasn't done something the entire raid decides to take the last two nodes or whatever the case may be um, one it's selfish two you know you're not being a good member of your alliance because you're really screwing over the rest of the alliance because if you had a team you know that could have took out five nodes but you only took out two nodes so you know, you're really just screwing over um the rest of your uh alliance members and it also comes back to what we were talking about before we tell guys uh well even if you can't beat it just start attacking with as many teams as you can to get those points that we talked about previously for those milestones remember how we said you had to at least uh participate in battles and raids and that's what we've sort of got. So we've got guys who can't even get past the first node with their entire roster. Doesn't matter. They do do all their attacks. They use all their energy. So it's helping out the alliance. Um, each strike team has the exact same map, and it's all about completing as many nodes as you can. Uh, we'll go into like you know when you should you know go to the next tier level in in the raid video. But um, what we're really trying to say here is that Discord gives you that opportunity to be able to give these maps to people and go, uh, Perks, you are in lane two, you stay there, buddy. Now, if it comes to the point where Perks is like, you know what, I am pretty much autoing this bad boy, um, but I see over there Atomic Man, he's struggling on uh, lane three, which is hard. I can swap him around as a team leader, but Discord has a much better chat function than the in-game one. And so that's what we use it for. And then we have like chats within our strike team to just talk about stuff like, as I said, reorganize and stuff like that. Then we have Alliance War. And so this is where um, our captains will start going, all right, I need you to attack, you know, the med bay, I need you to attack uh, this specific node and stuff like that. And that's sort of how we, we allocate stuff. So Discord, free app, can put, be put on your phone, on your PC, on your laptop, whatever. Um, fantastic tool. We have a lot of uh, bonus things as well and here. So, you know, I've got a Dark Dimension Guide there for people and we've got tips and tricks and stuff. And the reason that we have it all in one spot is because a lot of people aren't super keen to get into the nitty gritty of everything. But if you have a Discord channel that has like just the main things. So as I said, like, you know, you've got the map of the Discord, uh, sorry, of the raid. People can just quickly go to that and go, okay, I'm laying two. All right, this no, this no, this no, yeah, cool. And then that's it. They're not going to be looking at the, you know, the forums. They're not going to be looking at Reddit and stuff like that. So, for um, sorry, for Discord, it's just a really easy way to uh, help people sort of who aren't super interested in this game. And we find that a lot with Star Wars. So, uh, do you have anything else to say before we wrap this up? Uh, no. Uh, please get Discord. 
It's going to help you so much more than, you know, your immediate first alliance or second alliance, whatever it may be. Um, there's more uh, information on Discord than there really is um, anywhere in game. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, even even if you outgrow your alliance, um, you know, this is something that, you know, we kind of didn't really talk about, but, you know, find the right alliance for you. Mm. Um, you know, uh, make sure that, you know, you're in an alliance that is matching your pace. Now, whether that's free to play or pay to play, whatever that pace may be or what that looks for you. Um, and everybody, if you feel like you're carrying or if you feel like you are being carried, mm -hmm. uh, you know, find something that makes it challenging for your roster, but also makes it fun for you as well. Yeah. And I just want to, uh, yeah, put that in. It's all well and good chase, not the, uh, you know, the best skills in the world. But if you're not having fun with the game, it's becoming a chore, then that's really where, uh, and that's where we found Discord really up too, is that it wasn't necessarily, like in game chat, I wasn't saying, hey, do your bloody attacks, do your bloody attacks. We, you know, you start building uh, friendships uh, within that, which makes the game really fun. And so uh, me and Perks, we've jumped through four or five uh, guilds in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, just because mm -hmm. we were at the top, we felt that, you know, it was time to move to another guild uh, or alliance if we were talking about this game. But, um, yeah, we, we still maintain those friendships, and that's pretty much because of Discord. Uh, you've been able to maintain that. So, uh, definitely a really good tool. And if you're not using it, uh, definitely highly recommend creating one. Well, guys, if you liked the video, hit that like button, comment down below, and uh, until next time, have a good one, guys. Cheers.